Well, happy Thursday, everyone. I hope everyone's having a good day so far. I know I, I, I'm i having an okay day. Tired. <laughs> it's uh, 4 o'clock a.m. I haven't gotten any sleep yet. Yeah, sorry I haven't been on the last couple days. I just, uh, I needed a bit of a break. Plus, I've been working hard on the uh, headless video. And uh, I've been on that for days now. I'm glad I finally got it out. Now, I have uh, several more lined up. One of them I'm having a bit of a problem with. Because it's... Uh, well, it's a video uh, comparing uh, visions and trances and different uh, lucid dreaming and different types of uh, visions like that. And uh, I'm just uh, trying to figure out how to do it and make it fun and interesting. Because it seems just kind of dry. I have a lot of facts and everything. But, you know, I am just not feeling it. And it's like once I, once I get that little spark of inspiration, I'll be up and running with it. But uh, it's, it's just uh, getting to that point. Nothing has really... Uh, popped into my head yet on how to work through this. But I will think of something. I'll get some sort of uh, crazy, bizarre idea. A couple have popped into my head. I just haven't been uh, real fond of them yet. And I'm glad to see the numbers are up on views. Um, last time I looked, there was like 54 views on the headless one, which is really cool. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm shuffling these cards. My table here is... Uh, well, it's, it's taller than my elbows. I have to raise my arms way up to put my elbows up on the table. So it's kind of hard for me to show you all shuffling a lot. I guess you can see that. Come on, get in there. Okay, I'll do a, a tarot reading for everybody, and then I owe somebody a rune reading, and I'll do, do that right after. So for today, okay. The King of Swords. That's a pretty cool looking card. Okay, when you get the King of Swords, it suggests that you should remain objective in your current situation. You must establish truth by sticking to the facts. The King of Swords and his intellectual powers implies that you will need to use your intellect to make your point known and attain your goal. Besides your experience and education, you should be sharp and observant 
to see deeply into the problems that come your way. Because he rules over the suit of swords, he has a special connection to rules, laws, and diplomacy, which are systems of logical thought applied and manifest on earth. The king of swords meaning also shows that you need to be stern in your role while ensuring that you have clarity of mind at all times. When judging a situation, you need to consider all the possible consequences to make an appropriate judgment. You will need to leave your emotions out of the judgment as so to maintain rational thinking at all times. The King of Swords meaning suggests that you should take time to reason with others and be candid with the observations that you have made. As far as your personal life goes, the King of Swords urges you to use your intellect and logic to maneuver the path that lies ahead. You will need to confront the issues at hand and make a sober decision. The King of Swords implies that you should be able to look at any situation and make a decision with complete impartiality. He can also be an indicator of the high ethical standards that the King of Swords demonstrates for the love meaning. The King of Swords is someone who is cool, controlled, and well ambitious. Although they have emotions, they can be very restrained. They instead rely on their intellect and their logic. In romance, they approach their relationships ethically and respectfully. They may not be very romantic and are likely to express themselves very bluntly. Should this card not represent a person, the King of Swords' love meaning can simply indicate high standards when it comes to romantic partners, especially intellectually. You and your partner at the moment can also be challenging and pushing each other to be their very best. For careers, the King of Swords is someone who has high standards and demonstrates them in his own work. Although they may seem a bit stern, this person acts this way to make sure you achieve your career goals. They challenge you to be your best self while remaining true to their own principles. Should you choose to take his advice, you'll be able to progress far in your career. Alternatively, this person may also represent you or at a point in your career path. Give yourself and others high standards and push yourself to be the best that you can be. Having some routines and processes can also be beneficial for your work right now. And finally, finances. The King of Swords pushes you to challenge yourself and be very disciplined when it comes to your finances. Are you really doing all that you can in order to save for that nice car you wanted in the future? All good things come with sacrifice, and your financial goals are no different. Look at your finances logically. Do the research before you make any big financial decisions. All right, so there you have it. Now, rune reading for Debbie. come up this time. Uh, a lot in a bad position now. Not feeling anything on that. Yeah. 
and nothing on that one either. So it's just this four, Debbie. Okay, uh, boy, there's some sort of weakness here. Um, you're in a vulnerable position. And people are apt to push their will onto you right now fairly easily. So you need to be strong. And stay focused. That's an important thing. Okay, now the Berkana is on its side. And this shows family and domestic issues, uh, some problems of a domestic nature or with the family, some, some issues going on here. Um, all right, I see things not progressing a whole lot, um, kind of uh, at a standstill of sorts. And um, also, uh, there's like delays. Um, it could also kind of mean like a demotion, uh, being dislocated, uh, possibly even at the extreme accidents. But that's going to a very extreme. And finally, the last one, Othala. Oh, boy, Debbie, I'm sorry. This one has just not been good for you at all. Uh, I see frustration. Um, it looks kind of like you're trying to rush something along. And it's, it's not going. You can't rush it. it. It can't be hurried along. And you're being frustrated because of that. Things aren't going at the pro progress that you'd like them to, to be. All right. So I'm sorry, Debbie. I know this was a really bad one. Um, so let's, let's, uh, prayers for you. Hopefully this is not that bad. Stay strong. What a bummer. I hate giving out bad, well, negative readings, I should say. Anyway, um, yeah, like I said, I have more videos to work on. I might take a brief break because I, I really have. I've been working almost nonstop on that, uh, the last one, uh, Headless, and if you haven't seen it yet, you ought to go check it out. Um, now, I know my style is a bit different. Albert even uh, comments on that. You know, my, my style is... I try to be entertaining as well as educational at the same time. And I hope that's not off-putting to people. Because I just want to put out there what I'd like to get myself, you know, in a video. Something that's that's entertaining, that's educational, that, you know, I want to learn something. I want to see something. I want to be entertained. I want to walk away feeling like... That was fun, you know. And I know that's a tall order to ask. But I try. I try with my videos. But yeah, even even Albert, uh, he doesn't, he, he, he's 
doesn't quite know what to make of my videos sometimes. Because <laughs> I guess I am a little bit offbeat. That's just my style. But I'll, I'll stop the rambling now. I guess it's just lack of sleep. <laughs> and that's my own stupidity, my own fault. I just couldn't sleep. But uh, anyway, you all have a blessed Thursday. Peace, believe, and bye-bye.